What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here? What I've got for your face balls today, we are taking a look at a whole bunch of Spyderco knives. I've got several for us to look at. These are the latest and greatest coming out of Spyderco. A few of them have been opened, but as you can see, several of them have not. Uh, so we're just going to get into it. We're going to take a look. We're going to check the sharpness uh, coming out of the factories, uh, wherever these all came from. Before we get into that, we still have got some Jack Wolf knives. This is the most recent drop right here. This happens to be the K9 Jack. Check that out. Of course, you know, you get the box, the tin, you get the slip that comes with it. You get a cool sticker. This one here says walk and talk. Plus, you get the pog, you get the awesome Jack Wolf knives, cleaning cloth. Plus, if you purchase a Jack Wolf knife from OCD for EDC, you get the really cool slap bracelet uh, with the OCD for EDC logo and the Jack Wolf knives logo. Here it is. This is the Jack Wolf K9 Jack. It is a dog leg pattern with the spear point blade. And the funny part to me is, when I first saw this, I was not t necessarily in love with the aesthetics. However, I am very much in love with how this thing feels in hand. And because of this really tall spear point blade, this might be the best blade uh, so far from Jack Wolf. It's super easy to pinch open. The walk and talk, of course, and the fit and finish is exactly what you would expect from all of the Jack Wolf models. The back spring is just perfection but most importantly the ergos on this are in my opinion the best jack wolf model to date i actually carry the sharpshooter uh, this was the very first jack wolf model the sharpshooter is good but it's kind of funny to me um, that you know i loved the offset the gunstock pattern and to me the aesthetics are a little bit cooler on the gunstock than the dog leg but that kind of offset shape on the dog leg it's so good in hand it really is i'm not a you know i don't have a lot of history with traditional knives so i was i think this is the first dog leg that i've ever really handled certainly that i've handled much it's just better than i expected that's for sure we also have the uh, jack wolf knives clip slips you can check them out on our website ocdforedc.com if you're interested uh, there's not many left, but we do have some. I still have a couple of the, the Twill Carbon Fiber. Go check them out on the website. Pick yourself up a Jack Wolf knife, and there will be new models coming soon. Okay. We're going to get into the Spydercos for an unboxing knife. I'm actually going to use a Benchmade. I'm going to use my Benchmade Shootout. Go check out the website. If you want to delete your glass breaker, I've got the perfect solution for you. It's cheap. It's a cool mod. Makes the knife look way better, in my opinion. So go check out the website for that. But let's get these boxes open. So let me move this off to the side. And we're going to run through these pretty quickly. Just because we have so many to do. I need to sharpen my shootout. I've been using it a lot lately. And I don't know how many are in here. This box right here is from the Spider Coat Collector Club. All right, so we got two knives in here. One, two. Get that stuff off to the side. All right. And here are the Collector Club certificates. So those are the two new ones. This one is the new one that came out of that flat rate box. And here are the five that I've already opened. Let's take a look at these and then, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll open these from, uh, from right to left. So let's take a look at these first. Now, these models I opened up uh, a couple of days ago on a live stream. Uh, but these are the little uh, Subway Bowies and a little neck knife comes with a little piece of paracord and a ball chain. Uh, of course, you get a little uh, uh, Kydex style sheath. I don't know that it's actually Kydex, uh, but here is the actual knife. Oh, all right. And the cool part here is these are in LC200N. Grip on this guy 
is for it only being a two finger knife, you got a little bit of jimping up here on the spine. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it fits really well in hand. We have the satin bladed version, again, LC200N. There are those two. Next up, we have the orange and black. This is a Cutlery Shop exclusive, uh, pair of three lightweight. We've got the bi-directional uh, texturing on the FRN. This thing is in CTS XHP, black coated hardware, liners, they did it right. Everything uh, that's not orange on the knife is black. Action on it is fantastic. It's got my collector club number right there. That's a wonderful little uh, pair of three lightweight. Next up, oh, this one. Again, a really cool coated blade knife that they did correctly because everything on here that is not micarta is coated black. Hardware, liner, clip, the whole deal. Uh, this is a Spyderco Shaman. This one's a Blade HQ exclusive. You can see right there, CPM M4, coated blade, micarta scales, beautiful, beautiful knife right here on the Blade HQ exclusive Spyderco Shaman. Backspacer also coated. Can't go wrong with that one. All right, let me get this package out of the way. Now, this one is one of my favorites. This is the River's Edge Cutlery exclusive Spyderco uh, Manix 2. This is in the Desert Warrior. Uh, so we got Flat Dark Earth Blade, OD Green, uh, G10 Scales. We've got black liners, black clip, uh, black everything. This is a perfect candidate for the Manix 2 upgrade kit. We do have the black ball cages back in stock. Go to ocd3dc.com, check out the Manix 2 upgrade kits with the ball cages. Pick one up for yourself. They are pretty spectacular. And then what else do we have here? Oh, this one. This is quite the lineup of Spydercos, I'm here to tell you. This one is the Blade Ops exclusive Shaman in smooth gray G10 with LMAX blade steel. Absolutely gorgeous. This one's a little bit stiff. Blade centering is perfect. Uh, just needs to be broken in. Needs a little slick em all, right? If you guys aren't aware of Slick Em All, <laughs> I feel like I'm, you know, just plugging my website constantly. But uh, here you go. This is how Slick Em All comes to you. Uh, it is knife pivot lubricant. Uh, it's a grease instead of an oil. If you guys aren't familiar with that, go check it out on the website. It comes in this hollow uh, holographic bag. Uh, it comes with a couple different applicators, and it is fantastic. So go check that out. All right. We're going to open up this little one real quick just to see what, what this is. What do we got here? This is the Ambitious, a new model from Spyderco. There you go. You can see it on the FRN. Hopefully you guys can see that. It says Ambitious right there. Uh, pretty cool. Okay, so we got the spoon style clip. It's got the the uh, larger clip like the, the Shaman has, that sort of mounting. Um, and the Tenacious carries that clip as well. Oh, look at that. So this is uh, liner lock. Uh, yeah, 8CR13 MOV. Pretty comfortable in hand. I dig the little thumb ramp right there. Definitely a small little knife. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so that one's definitely a little budget Spider Co. right there, the ambitious. And then what do we have here? Oh, shit. Oh, is this my... Uh-oh. We got we to gotta take a look here. It is... Okay, well, here, I'll actually show the paperwork on this one because these happen to fall into the category of some of my favorite exclusives, uh, dealer exclusives. So if you want to read that, pause right there. Look at this. Marble carbon fiber, para three, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so good. All right, you guys ready? Boom. Again, this one is an LMAX steel. Some of you guys, I'm sure, already know. Uh, if you didn't pause and couldn't read the paper, this is a Freighton Lock Company Spyderco Para 3 Marble Carbon Fiber LMAX steel. Centering is on point. Action straight out of the box is good. 
and you know all it needs is a little carbon fiber cme i've got a little glow carbon fiber uh, cme here which is marble carbon fiber uh, looks fantastic on there definitely and it glows in the dark oh yeah yeah that that's a hot setup right there you know go check out the website you can pick up a glow carbon fiber cme for your pair of three that you picked up from Fred and lock and just just so we can uh have a little little gander here and appreciate the marble carbon fiber look at that so this is my freight and lock exclusive manix 2. now this the the older freight and lock exclusives were cpm 4v blade steel uh, this one is an l max uh, but yeah that's a sweet pairing for sure looks absolutely gorgeous and the carbon fiber yeah beautiful okay so there we go that's what uh, we had to unbox now we better get into checking the factory edges on these guys i'm going to start out with just checking the factory edge on this here we'll, we'll use this as the benchmark we'll see if spider co can overtake the jack wolf because this blade right here is so freaking good. It's so thin behind the edge. That hollow grind is amazing. So let's uh, check out the canine jack really quick. We'll get a benchmark for a factory sharpness. Here we go. So 120, definitely a fine result uh, from the jack wolf knives canine jack so go check those out on the website that's a good benchmark right there 120 we're going to start out with the black uh, subway buoy or bowie however you want to say it lc 200n now where's this one made uh this is the coming out of japan the japanese factory all right here we go 170 170 on the Spyderco Su or Subway Bowie. Okay, here we go with the Satin Subway Bowie, also coming out of the Japan factory. Here we go. 135, so that's the sharpest Spyderco at this moment. Let's check out the XHP Para 3 Lightweight Cutlery Shop Exclusive. This is a Golden Colorado CTS XHP, here we go. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. The Benjamin, straight up 100 grams on the CTS XHP. So the Subway Bowie, you're out, you're out of the way. Not winning today, son. Next up, we've got the Blade HQ exclusive Shaman. This one is in Micarta M4 blade steel. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Golden Colorado, here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so on the Shaman M4, we got 85 grams. So the cutlery shop, you're out of here, son. Uh, the Shaman is next up in line. Sorry, the Canine Jack uh, didn't bring the heat in today's little shootout, but um, I will say, out of all of these knives here, just because of how thin that uh, that Jack Wolf blade is right there, that's going to be the easiest, fastest one to strop up, which you can't go wrong with a super thin behind the edge, beautiful hollow ground blade on the Jack Wolf. Uh, that thing's going to strop up in seconds. All right, Manix 2, don't let me down. Come in hot. Oh, and I don't think I did say on this one, this is blade steel on this. I'm, it's so hard to see, uh, but it is CTS 204P. Uh, this is basically Carpenter's version of M390. All right, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Golden Colorado is not fucking around. Uh, that's what's going on here. These edges are, I mean, an 85 and now a 70, 70. That's that's an outstanding result. Uh, that thing, wow, incredible. 
Uh, just to let you know, guys, you know, these results on, uh, you know, factory edges right out of the box. This is just for fun and entertainment. Any of these knives can be this sharp. You just have to, you know, strop them up and whatnot. But it is kind of fun and interesting to see how sharp they come right out of the box. And I can tell you a 70 on a straight plain edge blade. That's that's an, an incredible number. But let's see if we can beat it. So here we go. This is the Blade Ops exclusive shaman in l max let's go oh my god all right we got a shootout here uh between the blade ops exclusive and the manix both coming in at a seven zero seven seventy grams uh that's incredible so we're gonna have a little a little shootout a sharp off if you will and we'll test them in a different location on the blade here we've got the uh what was this the ambitious uh this is 8 cr 13 mov coming from china let's check it out oh my god okay all right so now we have a three-way tie uh between these three knives at 70 grams I don't think that's ever happened before. Uh, we've only got one left, the Freyden Lock. Save the best for last. All right, the Freyden Lock, pair of three, in L Max, Golden, Colorado. This is a gorgeous knife. I shouldn't say it's the best for last. I mean, I love it just because it's a Freyden Lock knife, and you guys know how I feel about my Freyden Lock Manix. But, uh, all right, let's see if this thing can hold and hang with the 70. Or maybe beat it. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, 90. 9 0. I am telling you guys, this is the sharpest group of knives, hands down. What the worst one? Would we have a 135 or something? Holy shit. Anything under 200 is incredibly sharp. Sub 100 stuff is, is next level sharp. And to have these knives coming out of the box consistently, sub 100s, uh, that's pretty incredible. I, I've never had a knife manufacturer have this many knives sub 100. Okay, so all these I tested mainly about that area of the blade. We're going to go back a little further. And actually, you know what? We're going to start with the Ambitious. And th that was Ambitious. So we're going to go back in this area find out what we are working with here back further on the blade all right here we go okay 115 um, back here on the blade so so although it was a 70 up right right here in the belly area uh, not super consistent and still incredibly sharp but a 115 back a little further let's check out the blade ops exclusive in L Max blade steel. Let's go right under the spider. Okay, here we go. Whew. 90. 9 0 on the L Max. So that had a 70 out out here, uh, kind of in the where the belly part is. And then back here directly under the spider was a 90. That's a really incredible uh, results there for the shaman. Manix 2, don't let me down, CTS uh, 204P, I almost said XHP, <laughs> 204P, uh, River's Edge Cutlery Exclusive. All right, we're going back right underneath the Collector Club number, and let's see what we're working with. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's a 55, 5-5. Five, five. Holy shit. This thing fucks. There's no doubt about it. That is certainly the best plain edge that I have ever seen come out of Spyderco. Uh, we've seen numbers like this, 55, uh, on some serrations coming from Spyderco, but I don't think I've ever had, I think this is the sharpest plain edge blade that I've ever had come out of Spyderco. And I mean, Spyderco's uh, factory sharpenings, it's just better than everybody else's. Benchmade had had some pretty good uh, results here recently. But Spyderco is killing it. 
someone just pulled in my driveway. I'm sure you can hear my dog starting to bark. So I'm going to end this video right here. Thanks so much, guys, for coming and hanging with me. Go check out the website. Go pick up all the stuff, CMEs. Go buy yourself a Jack Wolf. I'm out of here. Peace.